The white backlash of today is rooted in the same problem that has characterized America ever since the black man landed in chains on the shores of this nation. This does not imply that all white Americans are racist. Far from it, many white people have, through a deep moral compulsion, fought long and hard for racial justice. Nor does it mean that America has made no progress in her attempt to cure the body politic of the disease of racism, or that the dogma of racism has not been considerably modified in recent years. However, for the good of America, it is necessary to refute the idea that the dominant ideology in our country, even today, is freedom and equality, while racism is just an occasional departure from the norm on the part of a few bigoted extremists. Racism can well be that corrosive evil that will bring down the curtain on Western civilization. Arnold Tonda has said that some 26 civilizations have risen upon the face of the earth Almost all of them have descended into the junk heaps of destruction. The decline and fall of these civilizations, according to Tornby, is not caused by external invasions, but by internal decay. They fail to respond creatively to the challenges impinging upon them. If America does not respond creatively to the challenge to banish racism, some future historian will have to say that a great civilization died because it lacked the soul and commitment to make justice a reality for all men. The second aspect of our afflicted society is extreme materialism. An Asian writer has portrayed our dilemma in candid terms. He says, you call your thousand material devices labor-saving machinery. We say to our government, we even say to our FBI, we will not be harassed. We will not make a butchery of our conscience. We will not be intimidated and we will be heard.